today we're going to review part number 20545i-ez-72-10. This is the Dexter trailer axle with the straight easy boob spindles and the five on four and a half inch idler hubs. Now this axle is 72 inches long, has a 2200 pound weight capacity. This axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. You can use it to replace an axle on your trailer or you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. This is an idler axle, which means there are no brake mounting flanges on it. It is made of a high strain steel. We do ship it with the spindle nut, the D washer, and the nut retainer all installed on it, one on each end. Now when we ship it, we don't just ship it plain like this. Basically what we would do is we would put grease over the machine parts and then we'd wrap it to protect it. And then we use this very thick tubing cardboard tubing that would go over it and then it's wrapped around it to help protect both ends. We do it on each end when we ship it. <clears throat> it does come with these cast iron idler hubs which are very sturdy and durable and it also comes with all these other parts shown on the table. It will come with the bearings and for this part number it actually uses the same size and part number bearings for the inner and the outer. So you got two inner bearings, two outer bearings. The races that the bearings would ride in are actually pre-installed in the hubs. The outer race is right there. The inner race is right in there on both hubs. Comes with the two double lip grease seals. Comes with the two Easy Lube center caps. And when I say Easy Lube center caps, basically they're a center cap that has a removable center rubber plug. And the reason that is is you take that out to access the Zerk fitting when you grease your Easy Lube axles. And it comes with the 10 half inch lug nuts to install your wheel assembly onto these hubs. And the light, last item we include is the marine grade wheel bearing grease tube. This is a 14 ounce tube of the marine bearing grease. So basically if you have a, you would just install this into your grease gun. If you already have a grease gun that accepts 14 ounce tubes, you can use your own. If you don't, we also sell as a related part on this product page, the grease gun right here that's part number L30200. This grease gun is, will use 14 ounce tubes if one is needed. <clears throat> now this is a straight Easy Lube spindle. There's no drop to it. And the Easy Lube spindles have actually a built-in grease zerk fitting on the end. And the reason they do that is because on a lot of your standard axles, when you put your you got to grease your bearings, install them into the hub, put it in, tighten it down, and then in, in the year if you're going to re, uh, grease them or repack them, you got to take it all apart, pack the group with grease, put them back together. The nice thing with the Easy Lube axle is once you put your bearings and hub on, right here at the very end, you can pump grease into the circ fitting. It'll go through the middle of the spindle. There's a little hole right here. It'll come out the back and actually fill the cavity where your bearings are so that you don't have to disassemble the whole hub assembly just to grease the bearings. You can just pump the grease in here from the outside. Very simple lubrication system. You also might want to notice on all axles they will have a bend near the center of the axle. Each axle is manufactured to create a certain camber angle. So what happens is you have the center riding a bit higher and the sides of the axle actually bent lower. This will allow the axle to give just enough to compensate for the load of the trailer. So when you put your load on your trailer and it weighs down, it'll sort of straighten that axle out. This will give you the correct angle of your wheels for your towing needs and allows your trailer tires to run along the pavement evenly with the contact patch across the whole width of the tread. The result is an excellent straight line acceleration for steady inline tracking. Now this axle is an underslung design and by that I mean the spring seats are welded to the underside of the axle. So you're, this is the spring seat is what you mount your leaf springs to. So with them on the underside of the axle, it'll give you a low ride height and it makes it easier to load and unload your trailer. And again, the spring seats are welded to the underside and the spindle is actually welded to the end of the axle. Now there's multiple ways to measure the length of an axle beam, but the two most accurate ways are going to be the hub face to hub face measurement and the spring center to spring center length. <clears throat> Basically what those two measurements are is once you install your hubs on the end of your spindles and you install the one on the other side, you would be measuring from this side basically the base of one wheel stud all the way across to the 
base of the wheel stud on the opposite side of the axle. So once these hubs are installed, you do that hub face to hub face measurement. I just want to give you an idea here. I know the hubs aren't installed, but still, just to give you an estimate, this one's going to show 72 inches. And that's the hub face to hub face measurement, which is also the length of this axle. Now the other measurement is the spring center to spring center. Basically, if you measure from the center of this spring seat to the center of the spring seat on the other side, <clears throat> and that's usually the, roughly the width of your trailer also. 58 inches on this one, spring center to spring center length. So basically, if you're replacing your trailer's axle, you should be able to figure out which type of axle you need by using these measurements. Use your trailer's weight capacity, the bolt pattern of the wheels on your trailer, and a, the brake type on your trailer if brakes are being used. So just to go over some specs on this axle and these parts again, the weight capacity is 2,200 pounds on the axle. The hub face to hub face length was 72 inches. The spring center to spring center length was 58 inches. Now the outer diameter of this axle tube is one and three quarter inches. The diameter of the spindle is one and one sixteenth inches. The bolt pattern on these hubs is five on four and a half inches. The studs are a half inch diameter, so they use the half inch lug nuts that we include. And because the flange diameter on these hubs, the flange diameter is basically the width. If you drew a circle around this whole hub, the diameter of that circle is about five and a half inches. So because of that, it will accept wheel size for anywhere from eight inches to 12 inches in diameter. But that should do it for the review on part number 20545I-EZ-72-10. This is the Dexter trailer axle with the straight easy lube spindles and the five on four and a half inch idler hubs.